I think it's really important when a woman's trying to decide who to go to for particularly GYN cancer is to just know that we exist, that there is a specialty of gynecologic oncology, that uh, these doctors are specially trained to deal with this tumor that you have, that there are survival improvements by being in the hands of a GYN oncologist. I did a fourth year rotation in gynecologic oncology and I was not even aware that the practice existed. It's a very niche, super specialized practice. But when I found it, I knew almost immediately that was the thing I wanted to dedicate my life to. I feel like my passion is tied to the mission of my department. We strive to offer excellence in clinical care, training, and research, and I'm still motivated by all three of them. I'd probably say the biggest thing that still pushes me is, is the patient-doctor relationship. I mean, that gets me up in the morning and motivates me to keep getting better to offer my patients better outcomes and less side effects from our treatments. I would describe my care to patients as very individualized. I really spend time speaking to the patient about her feelings about quantity of life versus quality of life and family values. I think it all comes into how you deliver a treatment plan. I think without taking into account how they feel about things, you will find yourself offering very much a cookie cutter approach. I see a real connection between research and clinical care. Being researchers ourselves gives us the ability to evaluate others' research and to make recommendations to our patients regarding what we think is a true value add for them. I think New York City is full of great institutions and inhabitants of the city are very fortunate to have the access to the level of healthcare that they have. But how it's delivered is just as important as what's delivered. While Cornell has a personalized approach that will encompass not just the patient, but her family. And we've done a lot to increase the comprehensiveness of our cancer care. The support services, whether it is social work support, palliative care being brought in earlier rather than later. I think we offer a very comprehensive and personalized care in a very warm environment.